Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with my very first ever Fab Fit Fun Box. So I have seen so many different YouTubers um, review this box and talk about it. I love subscription boxes. I love lifestyle subscription boxes for sure because I love it when you get skincare and things that you can use like useful items as well as uh, different things. This one had a perfume option this month which I was really excited about and it's a rose perfume and you guys all know I've been on a rose kick lately. So anyways, I've had this box for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I wanted to test everything in it first before um, I reviewed it because this is basically going to be a video about if the box is worth it or not. Okay, so I will tell you FabFitFun did send this over for me to review. Uh, however, as always, all of, the, all of my opinions are my own. Um, I made sure to go ahead and test pretty much everything in the box first so that I could give you an actual good opinion and form some thoughts and feelings about the things that I received um, it just so I can let you know if it's worth it. So let's start off talking a little bit about what FabFitFun is. So this and the box that I received, I'm just going to show you here. Okay, this is the box that I received. And this is called the Members Picks Box. Now, this box is, uh, I think it's normally $49.99 a month, but if you use the code MAYES, just my last name, M-A-Y-E-S, you can get... Um, you can get your first box for $39.99 and that's awesome because this is over $200 worth of products, $200 retail worth of products for um, 40 bucks, which I think is a good deal. Um, that's why I love subscription boxes so much, especially ones that include full size, full size products because I feel like the value for what you're getting is usually pretty great. Um, this is a quarterly subscription box, so it comes out uh, seasonally, and this would be the fall box. So, the, also another great thing about this box is you get to pick out some of the items. So you will get a little survey, and you will be able to actually go through and pick some of the items that come in your box, which I thought was awesome because that's how I was able to pick the option of the perfume. We also have flash sales throughout the year, so if there's something that you got in your box that you super, super love, and like retail it's really really expensive that has happened to me before um, that happened to me one time with a face cream that I got in a subscription box I absolutely fell in love with it but the face cream retail was like $85 and I had only paid $20 for my entire box and I was gutted when I went to repurchase that cream and it was like $85. So I love that they offer a flash sale where you can go on and get some of the items that you, um, or repurchase items that you received in your box that you fell in love with at a discounted price. So FabFitFun also partners with nonprofit organizations. They do donate to charity. They're also dedicated to female entrepreneurs. So a lot of the items that you will get in your box are actually from uh, female owned and run companies. They also um, just recently switched over to uh, craft paper boxes as well as craft paper packaging, which I love to see. I can't stand it when I get something sent in the mail and it's got styrofoam or those styrofoam peanuts, things that I know are not biodegradable and are not going to break down and are going to end up in a landfill somewhere and is horrible for the environment. So I love that my box and all of the packaging that came with it is fully biodegradable and is uh, super earth friendly so so the members picks pick boxes are top rated member pick products if that makes sense so members uh, because these are usually like top rated products these boxes tend to sell out really really fast that's one thing about it you do have to kind of jump on them as soon as the new seasonal box is going to come out because they do sell out quite quickly. So this box is available in the US, Canada, and the UK. And again, the thing I love about this box is in my fall picks box, I was able to get some skincare, some hair care, a perfume, a pair of slippers, things that I know I'm actually going to use. Uh, I have subscribed to some other full-size subscription boxes in the past, and I felt like 
I was just constantly getting the same products over and over and over again, like every month. So I would, I ended up canceling um, those subscriptions. But this one, I can tell you that this is one that I would be more than happy to subscribe to and pay with my own money to receive this box because I feel like I will use every single item in this box. It's all useful. Um, I'm, you're not getting like two eyebrow pencils in the same box. You're not getting, um, you know, the exact same products over and over again. So I just really feel like the value is here and I feel like these are all products that I will use. So you'll see when we start talking about these products that, uh, just one of these products in here would pay for the entire box and which I love that. So let's start going over everything that I got in here. Um, I will tell you, you'll get some, you'll get some coupons and stuff when you get your box. Uh, this is a $45 credit to Bright Sellers, which is a, um, customizable like wine subscription service, which if I drink wine regularly, I would totally, uh, use that, but I don't. Um, the next thing is a little card that you can pass on to a friend, and this is $15 off their first box. Um, I also got an $80 off plus free shipping on um, HelloFresh. And you get your little magazine. Now, the magazine should have like the retail prices of this stuff in here, but mine doesn't have the retail prices in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and look them up online as we go. Okay, so the first thing that I got and something I was really, really excited about because I literally, I don't walk on floors ever. I have to be wearing slippers in my house and a new pair of slippers is always welcome. Um, I got this pair of slippers from PJ Salvage. These are, these retail for $45, so that's right there. That's more than the entire box cost. But um, yeah, these are really pretty. They're this really pretty gray, um, cable knit and they are lined with fur and the whole inside of the slipper is lined with fur like it's not just the outside the entire um, inside is lined with this super soft faux fur I love these so much I am super excited like I haven't been able to wear them because I've been you know waiting to uh, film this video and so I'm super excited that I can start wearing these now. So that is the first thing that I got. For the rest of everything else, I can't find it on their website, like retail prices, but I'm gonna guess, guess, because, um, yeah, I'll just guess. So the next thing I got was this little crossbody bag, which um, I love. It's, I love fabric bags. Um, I love bags this size where you can just throw in like keys, a debit card, and I think I saw somewhere where this was $20, like $19.99. So again, great little value. I love the fabric. It's kind of like that scuba diving suit fabric. I forget what that stuff is called. Um, oh, what is that stuff called? I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but yeah, that's a cute little bag. Okay, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. Um, the first, like, personal care item, I should say, is this from IGK. This is a hair product. Um, IGK can be found at Sephora. It is quite expensive, so to get, like, a full-size um, IGK product in here is great. So, this is the Amla Oil High Shine Top Coat. Um, I did use this. I feel like with hair care products, you really need to use them a few times uh, to get a really good feel for them, but I can tell you the one time that I did th use this, um, I wouldn't say it made my hair, like, I wouldn't say it was like a high shine top coat, but it made my hair so, so soft. And um, this is a product that you basically use in place of your conditioner and you just um, put it in like conditioner and then leave it on for a couple of minutes and then rinse it out. Um, I love products like this. I'm always looking for something to make my hair soft because my hair is so thick and very slightly coarse and very frizzy. So. Anything that can soften it, I'm like all about, and I really enjoyed this the one time I used it. I'm excited to use it some more, and um, 
yeah, to see how well it works. So anyways, that is the IGK Expensive Amla Oil High Shine Top Coat. Next thing I have is a, a Skin & Co. This is Truffle Therapy uh, Whipped Cleansing Cream. This is a whipped polishing cleansing cream with truffle extract. This stuff is awesome. So um, I use a PMD device on my face, which is like a microderm abrasion device. And uh, when I use that, I it like basically like kicks up a bunch of dry, like uh, dead skin. It's like basically really exfoliating your skin and getting the dead skin off. Well, a lot of time after I use that, a couple days later I'll need to go in with like a physical exfoliator and I don't like using physical exfoliators too, too much because a lot of the times the beads or the grains are just too big and I feel like it's putting like micro fine tears in my skin. This stuff is awesome because it actually has the consistency of a cream, but it's got such fine, it's almost like using a rice powder exfoliator. And so this is like a rice powder exfoliator, but like suspended in a cream. It's just wonderful. It didn't break my skin out. Um, I Again, I've only used it a couple times, so I feel like I need to spend a little bit more time with it. But... It, it, the couple times I did use it, it did not break my skin out and it exfoliated really well while being gentle and not being like an aggressive exfoliator, if that makes any sense. So really excited about this one. I have no idea how much this costs. Um, this IGK thing probably costs, I don't know, this pr was probably anywhere from $25 to $30, I would imagine, because these are pretty expensive. Um, this... Again, I'm not sure. I wish I could have found the prices. I searched all over online looking for the prices for these and I couldn't find anything. But um, this one I would imagine is probably in the $20 to $25 range. So yeah, that is a really nice product. The next thing I got is a hand cream because it is that time of year that my hands are going to start getting really, really dry. And this is a hand cream from a company called Levito, and it says inspired by nature. This is nurturing hand cream in the scent of musk, coconut, and shea butter. It says for all skin types. Uh, I have tried this. This is gorgeous. It's got a really beautiful um, milky coconut yeah, it's like a really soft, gentle, milky coconut, musky, like a white musk, scented hand cream. It's beautiful. It's delicate smelling. It's like one of those hand creams that you can use and you, us perfume lovers here, we don't want anything to like mess with the smell of our perfume. So this is not going to interfere like with your perfume but it's still beautiful and light and white musky smelling and coconut milk smelling. It's gorgeous. So I love this. It's got a great consistency too. It sinks right in. It like doesn't sit on your hands. So yeah, it's really, really nice. I really have been enjoying this hand cream. Again, that is Levito Musk Coconut and Shea Butter. And I would imagine this is somewhere between 10 and $15 probably. Okay, next, uh, I got a makeup sponge. I'm so excited to try this. I love makeup sponges. This one is special because this is a, a hybrid makeup sponge. This is a silicone pad and a blending sponge. So I'm going to pull this out so you guys can see. So this is a really nice really soft makeup sponge. We'll have to see what it's like when it's wet though because it does feel a little bit dense to me um, and I typically don't like a super dense sponge but sometimes they soften up. But it's got this really cool silicone like pad on the other side so that's going to be interesting. It looks like it'll be really nice for getting right under the eyes. So yeah, um, if you guys watch my Makeup and Mysterious History channel, you will see this in a Get Ready With Me on that channel. So anyways, that is a makeup sponge. It's called Makeup Drop. It is a, hy a hybrid silicone pad and blending sponge. And this, again, is probably somewhere between, I don't know, $10 to $15 maybe? Maybe even $10 to $20? I don't know. Yeah. So anyways, there's that. 
Next, I was super excited to see this in the box because I love skincare. I especially love full-size products. Um, and this is a Tarte uh, moisturizer. This is C Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And this is a moisturizer. Now, um, this is... So that's what the thing looks like. This is a gel type moisturizer. This reminds me a lot of the, oh, it smells amazing. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Belief Aqua Bomb moisturizer. And I did use this on my skin and it felt a lot like that moisturizer. And this is great for me in the summertime. Now that it's starting to get cooler, uh, this I will probably use as a base. So I'll layer this on and then I'll layer another heavier cream on top of it. But this is great. Didn't break my skin out at all and reminds me a lot of the Belief Aqua Bomb. So, so excited to have gotten a full size of that. This is probably, I would say somewhere between $35 and $40 probably. So again great value this whole box has just been such good value and then the last thing i i saved the perfume for last because i was so excited about this this is a perfume oil this is by a company called lumira and uh, Lumira Nicole Truffino and this is called the Vow Rose and Sweet Tobacco and again this is a perfume oil um, I have not, this is the only thing, I don't know why I tested everything else out and then I didn't give this a full wear test, but you guys will see this in a what I wore last week video. Um, this is a gorgeous smell though. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful, soft <sighs> rose. It's like a true rose smell though. Oh my goodness, and there's a little bit of sweetness from the tobacco. Oh, it's gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of, and I'm probably going to use it as a base for, the Nina Ricci Lexstay's Rose Absolute. Oh, gosh. It's beautiful. It smells a lot like that, so I'll put the oil on first, and then I'll probably layer the Rose Absolute over it, and it will probably make it last all day. It's so, so beautiful. So I was super excited when I saw this as an option in the box because I was like, perfect. I, I love getting perfume. So anyways, this is, uh, this is the Vow from Lumira. It is rose. Well, now it doesn't say on the bottle. Uh, rose and sweet tobacco. And I would imagine this is probably in the 30 to $40 range. So anyways, guys, those are all of the products that I got in the FabFitFun box. Thank you again to FabFitFun for sending the box over for me to test. I will tell you right now, I will be subscribing using my own money. <laughs> uh, for the next boxes coming because I love, I, I just fell in love with this box. I loved all the products that I got. I love that I can customize it and I can pick some of my products myself. Um, yeah, so just because this box is sent to me, guys, does not mean that I would not spend my own money on it. I absolutely will be, and I will be uh, signing up for the next season. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.